All right, so next up, we have some of the feedback from those big players that I mentioned that account for such a big percentage of the actual revenue generated through that app store and their argument as to why this is bad for end users, regardless if it looks good on the surface, regardless if 98% of developers are covered by this split, by this halving of the fee. And so first up, you have... Uh, we'll have a quote here from, oh, I don't know, uh, why not Spotify? Apple's anti-competitive behavior threatens all developers on iOS, and this latest move further demonstrates that their App Store policies are arbit arbitrary and capricious. When you pull out the vocabulary, then you're really upset. Yes. Their suggestion, and they all have this in common, the, the, this group that's upset with Apple, they're, they're saying... Look, it's not about it's not about this little gesture. It's about what it means for the end user at scale with the successful companies. That they 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 all come back to the thing of you end up paying more because that's not a cut that goes to us. We can't adjust our fees accordingly. This is a giant chunk that just is taken right off the top. Now, mm -hmm. by the way, I feel the need at this moment to also cover the other side of the story, which is Apple's position. And it has been the same the whole time. Hey, you want access to our customers, to our wonderful ecosystem, to our wonderful app store, which has however many credit cards already associated with it, making it easier to buy things in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you know I got to cover their side as well. Yeah, they built the framework. Because they, they do have a side, and that's why this whole thing ends up in court. All right, here's the word from, uh, more word from Spotify. We hope that regulators will ignore Apple's window dressing that's what they're calling today's activity, mm. and act with urgency to protect consumer choice, ensure fair competition, and create a level playing field for all. Now, Match, they jumped in. Match said, what more evidence of Apple's anti-competitive and monopolistic behavior does anyone need? So they're saying, since Apple did this, they just buried themselves. They're saying they kind of admitted this thing was wrong from the beginning, which is why they made the change. Mm -hmm. They're kind of, they're going to go in court and say, See, they know it's a little much. Now, Apple, of course, they're not going to agree to that. They're going to say, they're going to go in court and say, no, no, we were helping the small guys yeah. because of COVID. Yeah. It's a different thing. That's what Tim's going to say mm -hmm. if he ends up there. Of course, I'm talking about Tim Cook. Well, we got two Tims. We got Tim Sweeney. We got Tim Cook. It's Tim v. Tim. Uh -huh. Just keep that in mind. TVT. It is Tim Sweeney, is it not? Yeah, it definitely is. That's Epic Games CEO, of course. He says, this is fantastic news for small developers, but it's not good for overall consumers. And it comes back to that same idea that uh, everybody could be saving a bunch of money if Apple didn't take that piece. Mm. Uh, look, it's going, to, it's going to be a while before this whole thing gets figured out. I will agree with Mr. Sweeney that it's great for, that sm for the small percentage. You know, they're doing whatever 2% of the revenue or whatever the number was, but it does represent... 5% of the revenue, but 98% of the app store. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people who would be impacted by this immediately yeah. with the small business. Yeah. And so this is a weird one because you could say shout out to Apple, but you could also say shout out to Tim Sweeney because if I'm one of these small time developers, I got to be wondering, is it the pressure applied by Epic and what Epic did that led to me getting this 15 points back? Right. Someone's it, fighting for them. It might like, be. Ooh. And maybe that's what Tim wants. So Tim Sweeney, I'm talking about, not Tim. Anyway. Yeah. So there's a couple of different ways to look at it. You tell me down in the comments, would Apple have done this just because of COVID and throwing money back? people, Or are they only doing it because they're under heat? I think either way, you end up with the result you're looking for. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm curious what people think, what led them here. I'm guessing it's epic pressure.